Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, if I push it back far enough, and tilt the camera, we have a United 777-200 um, by Gemini Nets in one four hundred scale. And on the bottom here, we just got normal Gemini Nets markings. On the entire thing. So I'll go ahead and tilt the camera back down. <laughs> um, as we have the look inside on this box, unlike the Delta 77300. That is uh, really weird with that box, but uh, I will go ahead and unbox this now. And it does not say if this is an LR or an ER. Um... But, if I look on the box, it's a 777 222 so a 222, a 777 222, okay, um, and it was delivered in the year 2000, okay, so I'm not sure what variant this is, but, uh, we'll go ahead and open it up. And, um, just take a look at it, and I will announce the new airport that will not be out here at all, so this aircraft will not be going to Atlanta ever in an update. So, you'll probably be wondering, why the heck did you get this if it's never going to go to Atlanta, besides charters, which definitely could happen. But, let's get started on the review here. So, first we have the Star Alliance uh, emblem. Then we've got... Focus. It says... I'm not sure I cannot read that. It is way too small print. Now on the bottom here, it says 777-200. And then we've got the, the new livery United. With the... Hold on, let me get the type of engines. We've got... The Pratt and Whitney 4070s, no, yeah, 4077s. And here we've got the no overwing exit at all. So there's not the emergency exit paths. Then we've got two antennas on the top, a third antenna in the Wi Fi box, and then we have. The United Globe Tail, the new Globe Tail, and then we've got the registration November 210 United Alpha. Um, and then on the bottom here, it's just a whole lot of gray, and the blue stripe on the front, the Jim Rogers logo, and the stand hole. Um, but the reason why I'm getting this aircraft is because if I tilt it down here, I will be modeling a new airport, and it is a United, uh, well, I wouldn't say hub, but it is definitely a majority United. So I will be ordering possibly two, maybe even three more United aircraft, all in the new paint scheme, um, for this airport. Um, also, Korean Air flies 777s there, and a, um, Philippine Airlines flies A321s there, and also, 
Asia Pacific, I believe. Yeah, I think it's Asia Pacific Airlines, a freighter airline, uh, fly 757s there. So, now we'll go ahead and announce the airport. It is Guam. So, I will be modeling Guam. Um, and one of the, there's a couple reasons why. One, I know somebody who used to live there. Um, two, it used to be a majority controlled by Northwest, and I really loved Northwest. Um, until they were gone. But, that's a reason why I live, uh, with a bunch of Deltas, uh, and that's sort of why I modeled Atlanta, is because Delta took over United, or took over Northwest, and I really like Northwest, so, I modeled that, so, the reason I'm modeling Guam is because I knew somebody who lived there, also, it's not too big of an airport, so I'll have a smaller airport and a major uh, international airport. Um, and then also, I wanted a project to do. Um, so, I will be starting on that airport soon, I hope. Um, I am already getting the more expensive stuff out of the way, which is the aircraft. Um, plywood has definitely gone down in price, uh, which is a good thing. Which means that it will be easier for me to make the airport and cheaper for me to make the airport. And also I will be changing it up and not using Sharpie. I will be doing a printed um, image of the airport. Um, so I'll have the taxiways and everything already in. I may even buy a terminal for it or get one 3D printed for it, um, which that should be expensive, but I'm hoping to save up for it. So this is the first edition to Guam. Well, technically, the Korean Air 777 was the first edition. That goes to Guam. This is the second edition. Um, so, now that we've announced the second airport, and we've got two planes for it already, I'll be going ahead and buying the plywood, and buying a image of the taxiways and the airport, and then also looking to see if there is a 3D printed terminal that I can do for the airport and not have Lego terminals. So, that will conclude this unboxing and announcement. Um, so, I will hope to see you guys following me on the Guam adventure that I'm about to start. And also, as always, have a great rest of your day and have fun collecting models. Bye!